This LOS has described market efficiency and related concepts, including their importance to investment practitioners. The description of efficient markets. Efficient in this context means informational efficiency. Security prices quickly and fully ref reflect available information in a statistical sense. Prices are efficient with respect to a particular information set if investors cannot use that information to earn positive abnormal risk-adjusted returns on average. In a highly efficient market, a passive investment strategy, i.e. buying and holding a broad market portfolio that does not seek superior risk-adjusted returns is preferred to an active investment strategy because of lower costs, for example, transaction and information seeking costs. By contrast, in a very inefficient market, opportunities may exist for an active investment strategy to achieve superior risk-adjusted returns, net of all expenses in executing the strategy, as compared with an investment, uh, a passive investment strategy. In efficient markets, an active investment strategy may outperform a passive investment strategy on a risk-adjusted basis. Understanding the characteristics of an efficient market and being able to evaluate the efficiency of a particular market are important topics for investment analysts and portfolio managers. So I'll do a quick practice question here. In an efficient market, the change in a company's share price is most likely the result of A, insider's private information, B, the previous day's change in stock price, or C, new information coming into the market. Well, I think that question was a pretty easy one. C is correct. Today's price change is independent of the one from yesterday. And in an efficient market, investors will react to new independent information as it is made public. Okay, we're going to finish this LOS with a slide, which is outside the curriculum. It's one that I have. The credit is to uh, Credit Suisse, a document that I saw back uh, in 2013. And I like it because it ties together the assumptions on uh, markets being efficient, assets are fair values, versus uh, markets are inefficient, some, some assets are not at fair value. And that's why we said uh, even in efficient markets, sometimes there may be uh, opportunities uh, for active investment, okay? So I just like this chart. So when we're talking about the investment strategy, we're looking at the strategic asset allocation and the goal is the definition of the optimal long-term investment strategy, five to 10 years. But when we're looking at tactical asset allocation, we're looking at taking advantage of short to medium terms, okay? This is the mispricings that we're looking for. And this uh, time frame is zero to three years, okay? And again, the assumptions, we already went through that. Uh, strategic asset allocation, long-term, the assumption that markets are efficient, assets are at fair value. Under tactical, uh, markets are inefficient, sometimes inefficient, and some assets are not always at fair value. So the application with regards to strategic asset allocation, we're, we're looking at the definition of the, of the benchmark and the uh, required input is the long-term risk and return assumptions. And um, so if your assumption is that markets are efficient, assets are fair value, then you define the benchmark because you're looking at more of a passive strategy here, long-term on average. Where over here on the, uh, the right-hand side, when you're talking about tactical asset allocation, then you're in the area of active management and you need to use models to identify the misvaluation of assets and uh, find these mispricings and uh, act on them and try to outperform the uh, passive benchmark, okay? And that's the last slide for this LOS, thank you.